ice climbers. Okay. Um, so it's going to be Pumi and Arrow versus Volt and Royal here at Quest for Salt Melee Edition on the 14th anniversary of Melee's release. Yeah. Melee became... Melee turned into a 14-year-old today, so that's pretty hype. Now we're starting it off on Battlefield. I'm going to try to one solo commentate this hardcore, super fast action paced match. I haven't seen Ice Climbers too much. Oh, is that something I don't really like seeing from from Royal? Is that when he is playing the um, the Ices, he he tries to like stay back a little bit more and kind of just like bait people's uh, approaches out a little, and you know like get them with a the Blizzard or the Ice Block and you know capitalize on that. But unfortunately, that kind of leaves your partner like to get beat up and kind of mess with when he's by himself over there, like. Like it's something that a lot of people kind of like need to like pay attention to is like when they're um, when they're doubling. It's like you need to be careful that you can, you don't just focus so much on oh man I can't get hit I can't get hit like I need to stay this I need to stay safe. Like yeah it's important obviously don't get hit that's a thing, but you can't just um, sit back and let your partner get hit. like get hit and get comboed and get beat up because that's I mean just as bad if not a little bit worse because they're like they're easily getting that damage and since it's a 2v1 scenario that you're like choosing to stick away from that was a good cover that was good coverage of the um uh like of options right there unfortunately uh, i think who's i'm gonna say pumi is captain falco and that arrow is rocking the falco Ooh, that's scary that little laser almost did so much damage there Another little, I don't know, I'll, I'll bring it up some other time. But yeah, so far, it look, it's looking like, wow, okay. Royal just lost his first stock, but for most of that, it's like, okay, he's tanking, he's tanking really hard, and that's really good. Now he just needs to make sure he doesn't lose Nana too early, otherwise he's just going to be stuck at Sopo, and Sopo is kind of, you know, not, not the best thing. So that's really scary when you like look at that, where it's like, oh man, okay, like I, I'm living to like 100, 200, I mean like 230 percent or whatever. Yeah, but you've been popo the whole time, so you kind of need to like ask yourself, like, was that, um, like all that time that you were on stage, like, was that as effective as it would have been if you had just lost the, you know, lost the stock a little bit earlier and came back with Nana? Because th that's a that's a big thing, I think. Because you can't you can't punish anywhere near as hard as a sopo as you could if you had your your Nana. So it becomes like a scarier thing when you look at it that way. You used to call your grandma the Nana? Yeah, then I, like when I was like a little kid. Would she like at times just jump off the ledge? Yeah, every now and again. She would just jump out there and you would have to go and save her? That's scary. Ooh, that was a nice down smash though. That was like a six. Wow. And just like that, it's four stocks to one. That was just before Melee came out, so that was like a prophecy for Melee, me calling her Nana. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. See, I was able to capitalize on that now that he's cool. Like, right now, it's really... It looks really cool because it feels like... Um, when it's 2v1 like this, well, 3v1. It's, it's cool because you can kind of, like... You can approach mindlessly, almost. Like, just apply pressure solidly. And you just... Oh, man. That was... I kind of like it being 2v2 because I don't have to worry about an ally anymore. About who? I don't have to worry about an ally anymore. Your ally? Your ally? Your ally, you ally. I don't have to worry about my friend anymore because he's dead. Mm. That was a really good shine stall too. And I can fight with my friends more effectively. Mm -hmm. my friend's dead. Ooh, that was really close. I feel like... Oh, man. He's only at 88% too. Oh. I'm surprised they killed. Yeah. Like a top platform well, it's good. It's yeah. But I mean, Falco and Fox are both really... True. Um, you know, the, the fast fallers. So that didn't kill either. Though. That was good. Oh, that was good. We took those. That was really close. He could have, he could have brought that back. Okay, that was pretty cool. Who was that? That was Arrow. He's going ballistic. I thought he was going Samus today. I don't know. It looks like against a team like this, where um, it looks like Royal's kind of taking into like the defensive that tank position. You need. It. Pokey floats, let's go. See, oh. Pokey floats. Um. Let's do it. 
Okay. Great anyway, game so yeah, when when someone's like being that super hardcore offensive, especially as a character that can punish you and like basically to a zero to death every time you like you know you whiff something, um, it's hard because it's kind of like you need to like start to respect the fact that you can't just be um, you can't out like out defend someone that can kill you with one grab. Yeah. So you're kind of like forced. Okay. You can't just like uh, um like sit there and be like okay. Um, I'm gonna try to just like punish everything that they have, even though they punish you zero to death every time they get a grab. Like it's it's a possibility, so you can't just like risk that. So sometimes you need to like um, realize that you can't go super defense against someone else's defense. Like you need to you need to instead of just trying to like you know baby it up and you know try to uh, like be stubborn about it. Like okay, I need to change the way that I'm playing, and I kind of just need to break through that that defensive barrier that they're setting up and i think that's what arrows may be doing instead of like trying to rush into samus and stuff even though i think samus in singles doesn't do too bad against ice climbers because of the projectiles that can kind of like split them up i don't know just speculating not not for sure not super certain yet but but um yeah i think going are you recording are you just no, we're just recording right now. Yeah. Like, that's what I asked. Yeah. We're recording, yeah, we're recording. I mean, no, we're recording. So I was gonna say, no, yeah, we can't. No, yeah. No, mm, yeah. Is it like a test thing or are you doing it for real? Oh, this is just the. It looks like the settings are pretty okay with, the, with what we have right now. Nice. Ooh. I'm gonna record this ball match because I feel like this will be the hypest uh, doubles. Yeah, this is this is probably the, the craziest one. What's the score for it uh, so far? The the other scores. No, I mean not not for this. Yeah, for the other. Uh, four count. Two owned by everyone. Two by everyone. Yeah, they didn't want to see the game. Is there gonna have to be like a a second place uh, tiebreaker? Wow. No, because Ito and. Ooh, that was. Ito and wow, he actually made it back. Win was against, uh, it was one win? Yeah, it was one win. Okay. So, and both these people have two wins on their belt. So they beat the other two teams. Okay. Yeah, but it has to go down to like... This decides it. Oh, okay. That's cool. Really cool that it worked out that way. John yeah. Robin doesn't always do that. Yeah, sometimes John Robin is a little bit of a punk. Not this time. Ooh, nice back air. Can I just Melee's birthday? Like, oh, that was like, awesome from um, from Arrow. Did you see? What? Like rushing. In. Something that's really cool about Falco Shine is you can jump out there, shine your homie, and then it's like it sends him up. It's like it sends him oh, up so yeah. far that you can like it helps you. Nice yeah, shine really turnaround uh, back air too. Support. Mm -hmm. And he gets to like back air three people. Yeah. While doing it. One of the things that like that, like messes with me the most is just that I'm not sure how. How people can just turn around like when they're playing, like when they run in, and then they just like. I know spaces. I know spaces can do it by using the shine turnaround, and that helps a lot. But like in other games, like uh, when I'm playing other games, like I'm, I'm used to like running, turning around, and then doing an aerial. But I guess that's that's why you moonwalk, right? That's that would be the oh, reason. Oh, there's a yeah. A reverse uh, Russian ski in this game, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's like moonwalking has like a very like you know awesome good yeah. good purpose to do here. DM is not really that useful because there's yeah you can just run from, yeah you can just run from around. So it's you need to get a little closer. I think. Or I need to talk louder because I get I get chill when I eat. Yeah. Especially food like it. Ooh wow. Oh god! Remember yesterday I was like, oh man was crazy. Called him out too, and you can see it on Volt's face. It was kind of just like, oh man. Oh gosh, I made a mistake. You need to feel a little bad too, because when he does it, it's like he charged it, so you knew what was coming. Do mm -hmm. either way, honestly, if Captain Falcon mm -hmm. stay alive. I don't know. It feels weird. I because I I think Captain Falcon doesn't really have like. I don't think I don't. Dies to go either way. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is that people use Captain Falcon to kind of like counteract Ice Climber sometimes. Like they just rush in really hard with his like neutral air, his knees, his aerials. Just because like so many, okay, so much of the time, like his aerial um, can interrupt Nana's. You can just mess with Nana. Nana's good though, so, so I think Popo's Yeah, yeah, but a Sopo isn't like good. 
That's a good luck ever seeing a Sopo, you know, win a, win a tournament. Yeah. Yeah, the second, like, Pogo died, it, it became, like, mm -hmm. a lot harder for him to bring it back. Yeah. So was that a 2-0 way? That's 1-1, one, one, I think. 1-1. One, one. The scores are right there, dude. Another, I don't see the scores. Not, I mean, we're on the top. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I thought it'd be like you're over there. Mm -hmm. Well, Tommy Alex would be here. But no. That works better because you, yeah, you can just work leave. in and out. Oh, yeah, so you guys can see. We're testing out this new, new, um, new way of life where we're over here commentating. And we have boom, our monitor over here. So we're going. Whoa! Look at that effect. Oh, it's like oh, oh. it's like loving a bottle. I know. And then we have Alex. Oh, you can see yourself. Oh. <laughs> you see it? He's blushing. Are you hype? Are you getting? <laughs> And um, yeah, right and then we were having Jason over here, currently um, sitting in for the homie B man because he had to work yeah, and be mature like, and you know successful in life. Are we able to do singles or no? It doesn't look like there's too many people, so I don't I don't see why we uh, yeah turn to. There's only like ten entrants at the moment, so I feel like as long as at least one of us is out, yeah, like is out doing something here, we're, we're fine. And we can make it so there's always one of us available. And then he don't know how to use yeah. doors and stuff. Yeah. Right. Ooh, that was bad. Oh, that was that was a like good, bad, bad. Like it was. That was a good, then a bad. That was like good, and then really bad. That was like bad, then bad, then bad, then okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> like just kind of like settling it, like just getting that la last little gimp on arrow. Cause that's that's gonna matter. Later. No, I thought you were talking about arrow. Like that was no, because arrow lost the stop. Exactly. Like that was good game off stage, but then it was like bad. Yeah, it was like it was like good. You got him off stage. Then oh, that was a bad edge guard. Yeah. Then it was like another bad like whiff. I was like oh man. Yeah. Oh, that was good too. That was you can't mess up like that with Falco because it's recovery. I wonder if um, Royal's trying to keep those stocks. Like stocks like really hold them out of the tank. Track. You know what I noticed? Like both Falco and Captain Falcon are easy to edge guard. I think that's why they pick Dream Man so they can go out farther and edge guard them easier. See, that's that's exactly the opposite of what I think. Like I have like, this little. Um, like, I always think about it when I'm playing. Is when, I, when I'm a character that's easily edge guarded or a character that has crappy recovery, I'm gonna want to go to a stage that has little blasters. Just because. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. That's that's you. So what, what I would want to do is if um, like if, okay like I have crappy recovery, I'm I'm gonna get edge guarded or I'm gonna die super early because I can't recover anyways. And that's kind of just like, okay, fine. Then, if I'm playing someone with really good recovery, I'm gonna take them somewhere that has little blast zones. Cause regardless of whether they can recover from like a cro like super far into the blast zones or not, it, it won't matter because they'll be dead at the same percent that I'll be dying. You know, of course, depending on the character that they're using. But it, it, it's, yeah. I'm not gonna say that again. But yeah, that, that's what I think. So. If you're a character with crappy recovery, I don't want to go to a stage with big blast zones. Just because... Yeah. Because that means, like, I'm not going to recover either way because I have crappy recovery. And my opponent's going to be able to make it back because they have great recovery. So that's going to mean that they get to live longer and I'm going to die anyways. Because I'm, like, Donkey Kong or, you know, Falco or whatever. Yeah, exactly what I saw what happened is happening where they're getting edge guarded easily. And I just need to see the other guy. Yeah, see, like, okay, so like they a, can't help each other. Yeah, like a stage like this, like I could say just helping out, um, like Fox a lot more than it would Falco. Like if I was. Yeah. Well, it depends because Falco has like that room to like run around laser, kind of like hang out. Oh, yeah, it's you know, two, two, Yeah. So, so it's 2 1. So it's 2 1. And one rolls favorite. 